This is a smaller, tight-knit group of individuals that really represent the country. It doesn't matter what age you are, if you're willing to win, you're willing to put your best effort. It's not how hard you get hit. I ended up fracturing my thumb. They suspected that he had Crohn's. It's how hard you get hit and get knocked down and get up again. We don't take days off. That's right, strength, no weakness. Sky's kind of the limit. Get ready, because today we are taking a look at some of our future prodigies and pros. From fast feet on the field to hitting the gridiron, this is No Days Off. LeBron James, comment on my video, now everybody know me. Blazers met Mike Evans, met Tyson Gabe, OJ Howard, Jameis Winston, Ike Taylor, Josh Gordon, the list goes on and on. He goes by the name Blaze and it's pretty spot on. His dad posts videos of him online that are really blowing up right now. I mean, we really could be seeing a future pro in the making. He has well over 100,000 followers and even got the attention of the king himself. Yes, LeBron James. I'm Blaze, I'm seven, and I play football. I like football because it's a good sport. I like Tariq Cohen because he's fast and he can shake just like me. So like, well, you know, normal day with me and Blaze, you know, we get up, you know, go to breakfast. You know, breakfast time is really like our, you know, our father's son time, you know, where we get a chit chat. I played high school ball, played little league, I played a little bit of college, but you know, had a troubled background, street life, you know, lack of support and you know, just lack of guidance, honestly. Due to the fact I went through all that, it taught me so much and gave me so many life lessons. So I was able to teach my son. I never had my father. My father was never there for me. My whole goal was to make sure my son starts with everything and ends with even more. He wants to serve five. Hey, you want your egg scramble, little man? Yeah. So I let them know all the time, man, how school is very important when it comes to sports because you, you can't do one without the other. Give me please. You can't do one without the other. I definitely want him to feel like, you know, I was a kid, I did have fun, and I also was the best at sports all at the same time. Ready to go to school? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Another day, another day. Have a good day, baby. Love you. I think what makes Blaze different is that he has all the things you can't teach. This means about my number. This means about my name. This me. I like to shake because people can't catch me. I knew Blaze was going to be fast when he was three. For him getting up on your market set goal and running out of the room. If I was a weekend dad, I probably would never have seen that. About to work on his ladder, ladder drills, and um, change of direction. You know, quick feet, like we say, slow feet don't eat. All season, me and Blaze get it in about three times to four times a week. You know, um, our fourth day would be a cool down day, but basically we'll just work on a lot of form. Day one through three, we're definitely doing a lot of agility, a lot of acceleration drills, a lot of deceleration drills, a lot of reaction time drills, and just a lot of explosion drills. That's why when you see Blaze work out, he's able to make a cut and separate itself by five yards off one plant. You got the heart of a what? Lion. Fast like a what? Cheetah. Let's go then. If you're a step with him, he'll get three steps ahead of you. Blaze hate losing. He's not, he's, he's in fear of nothing. Change direction drills, you're gonna help his acceleration and deceleration, and also help him with flipping his hips. Every time you see somebody run slow at the end, what happens? They get tackled or they get the ball hit out at the back and it fumbles. Don't do that again, full speed all the way through. We watch Blaze, watch his brother. Even though the football field and everything, Blaze is always correcting his brother. Even if I'm not around, We've seen how Blaze trains on his own. Up next, we hit the school books in a team scrimmage. Before the break, we saw Blaze's fast feet. Now, it's time to test Blaze's strength on and off the field. Josh Gordon flew Blaze out for three days, got him a nice room. And it was a great experience. And Josh Gordon was introducing him to all the players. You like a, you like a internet superstar. Everybody know 
everybody on our team be watching your videos and stuff. They be walking through the means like, yo, you see the man doing this pass? <laughs> Huh? That's pretty cool, huh? The blaze was cheesing the whole time, so it was like a real great experience. He's not like a real run your mouth kid and always being disruptive and kid. Like you look at his little agenda in school, like every day he gets a good note. He might be so soft spoken, but you know, like I say, he focuses on all his work. He does great in school, great in sports. He's just a overachiever, honestly. So, do you have to be smart in school to play sports? Yep. I, like I said, I reward Blaze for what he does. You know, I put work out to get my kids. You work for what you get. That's how life will be in the future. So I was training, and then I saw this, this coach, and they called his Jimmy, and then they, he saw us. And then he just put me on the team. Blade, what's right, up, Nicole. baby? <laughs> Tell me, did you just go? Yes, hey. Okay, my name is Coach Jimmy. Been coaching in for the Ravens about my fourth out, year. Man. I teach it to my kids from the beginning. We don't take days off at all. At all. 25 and over right now. And going. Blade's an amazing kid. I want to know how he does it. I don't know if I can do it. That's amazing that he can just stay focused stay humble and still be a great kid at the same time. He's all about his team. He's not a selfish kid. He's not a selfish kid. Good job, Keon. Good job, Keon. Let's go. Man, football's huge in Florida. Like, these kids live, live by it. Kids love it, man. They love doing it, man. You know, they're competitive. Good job. Jogging. Why you jogging at? Huh? Huh? Look, dirt slow. Garbage. Tighten up. You know, as a kid, I just, you know what I'm saying, just really saying a lot of football, never really organized. So uh, when I got a chance to coach it, I wanted to do it, so I took a chance. JD, back up! Why is the feet? Y'all better see that ball let it get uh, down. 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 Let me hear you. Who house? Oh! Who house? Oh! Let's go, Ravens on three. One, two, three, Ravens! Oh, give me that flag, Jam Jam. Everybody got flag on. Let me get that. 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 Everything in life. It happened because of him. He made me grow. I'm so proud of him, dog. My baby. I'm so proud of him, dog. My partner. <laughs> and everything, though, dog. Everything in life, you know. <laughs> yeah, my partner. Michael Hart gonna make me the best. I don't care if he don't make football. I don't care if he don't make track. I don't care about none of that. Just be happy what you want to be and live your life and be happy. And I'm going to know I played a part in that. After an action-packed day with Blaze, we head across the state of Florida to meet the 11-year-old star, Colton Smith, in Miami. We finished a day with 7-year-old Blaze Ingram in Tampa. Now, let's see how 11-year-old Colton grinds over in Miami. Go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Now finish it. Finish it. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, man. Go. All the kids will call him the hardest hitter on the team. Yeah, he has he's, a following. People come out to watch him. He's explosive, dynamic, one of those playmaker guys. His style, fearless, he's fast, perfect attitude for the sport. He won't give up on you, never gives you bad attitude. He will get knocked down, and he'll look at the guy and go, how'd you do that? His work ethic is unmatched right now. Oh, yeah, Colt. Ah! My name is Colton Smith. I am 11 years old, and I play football. My name is Tevin Allen, CEO of Gold Feet Global, and I'm Colton's football trainer. Currently, I'm working with Colton on his foot speed, his quickness, just overall athleticism, just being free out there. You just go out there and rely on muscle memory from the training that we do. Don't get your feet too wide, because now you're stepping outside of your frame. We were working on footwork today. It helped me get better cuts, so when I'll have a defender coming at me, I could cut quick. I think what separates Colton is uh, his heart. Go! Oh! Colton is easy to teach. I do everything brick by brick. Break down things in details to build it back up. Usually the smarter kids catch on to the concepts quicker. And he's one of those kids. Drop, drop, swerve him. Get back straight. There we go. Good Every job. session you leave there, he's learned something new. And he comes out here in our backyard and he'll practice the same moves over and over. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get out and go. Drop. While he's gifted, he works very, very hard at his craft. It's not something that he just sleeps on. 
and he wants it on his own. There's many people who can, are fast kids, but route running can separate between you and the defender. He really likes to work on his routes. Come on, get out there, babe. Come on. Hill ah, works good because ah. you build up your quads uh, and yeah, calves right. to make you run faster. Go. <laughs> the hill, I can't lie, was hard. His game is being able to play any position on the field, running back, wide receiver, slot receiver, outside receiver, and just being able to get the ball in his hands that he's going to make plays regardless. <laughs> Let's go! We were the anti-tackle okay. people. She was always big time anti. Super. I was around four years old when I started playing football. I really liked the players. Everyone's so close to each other. You need 11 people to make a play. You can't just have one person be the whole team because you won't get anywhere. He's very aggressive. Very calculated. His game day face, he doesn't get all hyped up dance. Mm -mm. He's, he's on his own. On the football field, he turns into a completely, it's a, it's a different kid. Yeah, I think I'm in a zone in like football. I'm just thinking about football at that time. Who's gonna get the ball? Who's gonna pass? Who's gonna run? All my teammates describe me as a leader, fast, and like a field general. He wants to see himself on tape. Not because he wants to pound his chest. He wants to see if he cut wrong, where he could have done differently. And he can self-correct. I don't know adults that can self-correct. Been working coat about three to four years. A lot of people aren't big fans of flag football but I suggest it. Flag football just rounds it off 100% with hand-eye coordination, everything just like that. Colton's strength is catching the underpass, making a move, and working his way upfield. His next move is middle school, high school, college. I just want to see him with a college degree at the end of the day. In the future, I would like to go to Stanford or Clemson, or eventually I could play professionally. The study behind the schoolwork translates onto the football field. How he studies at home, he uses those same type of skills during his sports and during the football game. I'm behind Colton and whatever he wants. If he wants to go to Stanford and go there for academics and never play football again, you know, I just know that he's going to be a successful kid on and off the field. I just want him to be happy with whatever choice he makes. Colton's in fifth grade. He tested gifted in kindergarten. We made the jump. More so because we didn't know how he could balance school and athleticism. And then we realized the priority is clearly school, so we gotta push him. He rose to the challenge. He's a straight A student. He works very, very hard for it. And he knows that that is his ticket to us making any sport, any moment happen. Right now my report guy, I just got straight A's, but past I get like one or two B's, but I bring those up eventually. School is very important because I wanna get to a good college, hopefully get a good job, or possibly make it to the NFL. But right now I'm looking at the brain surgeon as a career because my mom once showed me a video about like some guy getting brain surgery and it seems fun. I had a video one time show up on my news feed. It was a cauterization of a brain bleed. One day he's like, can I earn a living doing that? And I'm like, yes. He's like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a brain surgeon. He wanted to learn everything. He even taught himself to kick field goals now. He knows though, this is a tool to get into a private high school that we can't afford to go to. This may be a tool to go to a university. We talked to him about the different levels, why people want to go to D1, because it's a good football college, where D2 and D3 could take you educationally, even though there is you know, Ivy Leagues that are in D1 now. We do discuss that and we explain to him, your goal is to get an education. Luckily, football's a sport that does harvest education. It's not like MLB or NBA where they pull you right, right high from school. high school. It's almost we're lucky that the craft he wants to pick does push for an education. This one's the one I got recently, winning the national championship in ESPN Wild World Sports with Paul Moderators. This one is the one I got a few years ago, getting second place in the national championship at ESPN Wild World Sports 2 for track and field. And this academics award was given to me by Sean Taylor's dad in after the Super Bowl. And it's one of my favorites because it shows how you could work hard in football and also work hard in school. Lobstering is when you like dive down with a snorkel or a scuba tank and you pick and you like net or go do like some tickle stick inside in like a little cave underwater and you make them pop out and you have to try to like scoop them with a net but you have to go from behind because they like go like that and they go like that way. Yeah, so have you ever uh, caught any and eaten whatever you caught or anything? I haven't eaten one because I think it's kind of gross. Up next, we head from Miami to California to meet football prodigy Bunchy Young. 
Moving on from East Coast legends, Blaze Ingram and Colton Smith, it's time to catch West Coast prodigy Bunchy Young as he gets ready for a typical day of non-stop training. Bring it back. Good job, good job. That's crazy, man. He shouldn't be breaking like that, man, at that age. That's crazy. 11-year-old Bunchy Young doesn't just stand out because of his brightly colored hair or the biblical verses on his arm. What makes him a youth football sensation is this. He's already ahead of the game. You know, I'm getting ready for the NFL draft, and at Bunchy's age, I wasn't near where he was at. Look at that boy, go. Speed kills, and I got speed. Hey, folks, brace yourself. Here's Bunchy. The football training, the headlines, and the talent. You already have offers to play Division I football at colleges? Yeah. Late in 2017, Bunchy was named Sports Illustrated Kids Sports Kid of the Year. I'm Bunchy, I'm 12, and I play football. Oh, my boy. Are you about to go work out now? Yeah. Oh, boy, get your feet right now. Get your feet right. We're at Stars in Anaheim, training facility. Get right. This is a place that's going to help him. There you go, try to straighten out that knee. And they got physical therapy, and they got people that'll go out there and massage you and do all the things that you need to get back right. It's a great place to be at, and it's more about getting you ready for life. They bring a lot of people in to talk to you about how to develop and how to get better and how to achieve. So they try to get you ready for that next level. I'm trying to build careers, not just Oh, he's going to be a great football player one day. I want you to be a great man. A great man makes a great football player. All my kids, whether they're 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they get treated the same way as professional athletes. That's why we call it career prep. The athletes work pretty hard on specific drills to prepare them for combine. Mo is cool. Like, that's my dude. He helps me train and stuff. He motivates me a lot to keep pushing and just to keep striving for greatness. The grind is real, and what I always tell everybody, it ain't for everybody. If it was easy, everybody would be out here doing it. I want power. Give me 20. Power. Good. Elbows in, elbows in. To be his age and to understand that this is what I gotta do to be great, you don't see that in kids nowadays. You gotta flip up, press, behind your head, press, down, down. That's one, you give me four more. Where's my little kettlebell at? There we go. It's a man's workout right here, baby. We do weight training just to keep your body and your muscles straight. Act as if you literally got smacked right in your back. And what happened? What do you do when you get hit in your back? Ow, right? So I want you to pull and squeeze. I need to loose out sometimes. Kind of tiring. Working on my muscles and all. Down. Reach back. Up. Woo! There we go. Come on. Three more. And here. Good. Put that other hand there. Good. Don't let me push you down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. We doing basically what the NFL players are doing, just lighter weight. It's cool. He's really one of those kids that just listen. I think kids like that make my job really easy when they listen and they focus. It's a pleasure to work with him, especially a kid that's that young that can really hang with some of our pros. We're going back pedal straight down the line, open up, flip. We'll try to keep it real light, some basic movements, some fundamental stuff to kind of keep them consistent in some of the stuff that they got to do during the game. So come down, attack it. And slow it down with your mind, and then when you that's when you get it. So you just slow that, you just gotta slow it down. Kind of like my big brother. I've been knowing him for so long, and it's like cool just working out with him and stuff. When I see Bunchy, I see myself. It's kind of like cheating because you get to watch from a pro player doing this. He's one of the greatest players in America. It's just real crazy to just learn from Adori and just take down notes from Adori. I ain't start playing football until so I was in the sixth yeah, grade. I turned 11. You said what? That's what I'm saying. I ain't start playing football until I got A lot of people don't understand that it's a bond. It's different here. The energy they got is different. People that they bring in, everybody is genuine. Everybody shows a lot of love. Here at Stars, you're going to run into people that are doing the same thing that Bunchy wants to do someday. Play NFL football, play college Division One football like he's already got offers to. It's just really critical that he surrounds himself with good people and that, that's what Stars is about. I was just gonna say pray for y'all just to make it to the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> Stars is an A1 program. They're really nice, family oriented. They get these young players together, which is a blessing. They really work with these kids. They have really professional trainers to hone these kids' skills. Stars is like really a family to me. The people that you got around you, all they want to do is see you succeed. They don't want to see you fail. All right, young man. Oh, yeah, much. Oh, yeah. You keep working out with them, like, they become your family. So that's why I really love about Stars. I won a lot of medals. But my favorite medal is, I like this one, the California State Games. It just motivated me to work harder. These are the rings that I got for this medal. This, this is when I went to uh, Louisiana. It's up for me to be dedicated as a parent 
to stay out there and hone his gift and hone his gift and hone his gift. He pushed me the most out of everybody because he wanted to see his son be great. Let's do some up downs real quick. And I want your body to, uh, to lean forward. So what we're gonna work on today is we're gonna work on this drive phase. When you get out the block, when you're set, you're standing up, you're leaning forward, and you're taking off. Set. It's a combined workout throughout the week. I've been training with him since I was three or four. I remember I didn't really know how to catch. Like we started off with like a huge NFL ball, and I used to catch it. We at a point right now that we just can't stop working because I want to see the best for my son. I want to make it to the NFL, I want to be a broadcaster, and I want to own a football team. The thing I really, really want to do is be the mayor of LA. What you put in is what you're going to get out, and that's just what it is. So we practice and we practice and we practice, and this is the young man that you see today. It's always an honor to work with youth anyway, but with kids this special, is pretty fun. If it's in God's will that we play football, then that's what we're going to do. My work ethic is key. You can't take a day off, you can't slack on your workout. He definitely has an opportunity that most kids don't have. Once he's already ahead of the game, he's already doing what he's supposed to. You just gotta stay prayed up and just hope to God that I can do all that stuff because I really, really want to be the mayor. That's, I, but I, I want to play football too, but I really want to be the mayor. We saw three amazing athletes today. Give them a follow and support their journey. Today was just one day down for these future stars. Tomorrow they'll be back at it again, working and training. Because when you want to be the best, there are no days off.